Now, this intriguing little model steam engine was a recent eBay auction win. But I really don't know anything about it at all. I'm not sure whether it was commercially made or scratch built, although I'm leaning towards commercially made because although there's no castings, it just has the feel about it of a commercially made unit rather than a scratch built unit. It's a very unusual layout. I've not seen an engine like this before. Obviously you see engines where the actual engine is mounted to the top of the boiler over types, but not like this where the crankshaft goes across the rear end of the boiler or the front end of the boiler, depending on which way you look at it. It's all there. There's a interesting little burner. Stop it there. Again, not really seen anything quite like that before. Very unusual. It's quite rusty, but hopefully it's it's uh, it's still intact. It doesn't leak, but that obviously needs to be cleaned up. I mean, the whole lot needs to be stripped down and cleaned. But yeah, it, I, I just saw this and I was intrigued by it. And I, 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 I like it, anything that's a little bit different. And this is certainly a little bit different. So yes, that's, uh, that's one to be restored, hopefully. We'll be able to get it running. It, it all turns, it's all free. So I don't see, foresee hopefully too many problems, but uh, yeah, an intriguing little engine. Well, we're back with a little <coughs> so far unknown British model steam engine. Now the basic disassembly of this I covered in the second video that I did on the ultrasonic cleaner. So you will have seen the parts go into the ultrasonic cleaner, the brass bits and, and get cleaned up. And since then I've also uh, run them through with the uh, over the wire wheel <clears throat> so that they're actually looking quite nice now. But I've also done a bit of inspection on them and particularly the flywheel and the piston leads me to believe after looking at them that this was definitely homemade. As you can see, that's been drilled off center. The flywheel, <laughs> yeah, well, that's basically just scrap. It's not even remotely round. The hole for the crankshaft has been drilled off center and at an angle. So basically that's gonna go in my scrap bin. I'm sure we can find some use for it. So basically I've, I made another piston, which was very easy because it's simply a piece of 3 8 brass bar stock drilled and tapped ABA for the, for the con rod. And that's now uh, a lot better than the original because the hole's actually in the middle. So that's that done. And then I've machined up um, a replacement flywheel, which is this one here. And basically this will replace that. Uh, and, it, and again, Hopefully, I don't think I'm going to have to replace anything else. These these are just parts that were obviously not particularly well made. I think this was this was originally cast the flywheel. So we're coming along with it. Let's come out again. In here, in this tub here, is that simply full of vinegar, and that the boiler has been soaking in that. So we're going to get that out now. That's been on over 24 hours in there now, and it was completely black on the underside covered in soot when I put it in there. So we'll pull that out in a minute and we'll see what that's like. But I haven't really done anything to anything else. But I'll clean up the boiler and see what state that's in and then we'll move on to the firebox and the burner and the base. Well, the boiler's been retrieved from its vinegar bath and the vinegar has done an excellent job as always. As I said, the underside of this was completely black when it went in and it's got most of the uh, soot carbon deposit off. It's even um, started to help the, the paint removal. So that's great because I intend to, to repaint the frame part of it. But as you can see, the boiler is in pretty good condition. Uh, I'm quite sort of pleased about how that's come up. So that'll need to be further cleaned. And then, as I said, re the <coughs> brass parts frame and engine support repainted. But it's coming along. So we're, we're, we're getting there. Well, I made some progress with this little scratch built uh, model steam engine. The boiler, the last time we saw this, had just come out of the vinegar bath. I've now cleaned that up. I used paint stripper, combination of paint stripper and a small wire brush in one of those Dremel type 
rotary tools to clean up the paint off of the engine frame that came off all, all came off fairly easily and it's as you can see the boiler is cleaned up quite nicely and i've uh given the parts that i'm going to paint um some this is h prime on there and that's uh, pretty much ready for uh, the final coat same with my new flywheel that's been sprayed with h prime the firebox and burner have been stripped down cleaned off of uh, paint the firebox is ready to repaint i shall use uh, my standard uh, satin black high temperature engine paint on that that's ready for repainting the burner but before I do that, I need to make sure that it's not leaking. It is uh, a little bit rusty in certain places and there might be some pinprick holes. So I shall put that in the tub and then put some meths in it, see whether it actually leaks. But as long as that's okay, that can then be repainted. And I will use the same high temperature engine paint on that as well. And then the only thing that really remains to be done is to sort the base out. Um, and I, I really need to get outside so that I can get the sander on this and sand all this old paint off. Uh, but we've had a lot of rain here in the UK over the last few days, but it is looking nice today. So hopefully I can get out there and do that. So that's where we are at the moment. The little scratch belt model steam engine is finally done and it came out okay, actually. Quite pleased with, with the result. <clears throat> there are a couple of things that uh, uh, I've, I've had to do, which I think I mentioned in uh, earlier on. The flywheel and piston were no good so i've had to remake those so it's got a new piston and a new flywheel the other thing was when i went to clean up the bung that is in the filler tube on the burner uh, basically it just disintegrated so i'm assuming that it's probably made it was probably made from something like white metal so i've made a new bung for the filler tube on the burner out of brass and the other thing i've done is uh, obviously the base was painted originally and I rubbed off, uh, sanded off all the old paint and I decided to go with some, uh, with my normal uh, finishing oil on the on the wood. And uh, I just think it looks a lot better. It, the finishing oil on that, this particularly li this light wood, it looks very nice with the brass. So what else? Oh yeah. Originally it used some very, very tiny wood screws to hold the engine down onto the base. And I've simply uh, drilled those holes out and put 6BA countersunk brass screws in. The other thing I did was I put a couple of very small strips of Durrell and raised the firebox up from the base very slightly, mainly because uh, with the firebox bolted directly down to the base, it's very difficult to get the burner in and out. It simply it it, it was um, interfering with the with the uh, bottom of the firebox, so I've raised it up very very slightly. But that's about it, really. Other than that, it's exactly as it was, just hopefully looking a lot better and cleaned up. I have test run it on air and it runs fine on air, but of course that doesn't mean to say it's going to run on steam. So that's the next job. Get it steamed up and uh, we'll see whether it will actually run on steam. Well, we've got some steam, so let's see if it's enough to run it. Yes, excellent. There we go. Oh, I like that. That's lovely. Nice and smooth. <coughs> yeah. Oh, that runs a treat. I'm well pleased with that. Very quiet, too. Oh. <laughs> I figure that might happen. <coughs> I think I need to trim the winks back on the burner. Yeah. Three wicks, really, on a burner for, for an engine of this size, is really over the top. But it certainly runs fine. It looks like the safety valve is working too, blowing off, which is great. Now I'm well pleased with that. I was a little concerned about the crankshaft being off center and it, it is off true slightly, but it's only very, very slightly. No. Well, I don't know if the person who originally made this is still out there, but if you are, I hope you see the video because this, uh, this is running a treat. 
And it's just such an unusual engine. The, 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 you know, the design of soldering the engine frame onto the boiler and the way they've done it, it's just, it's just unusual. So it's what I really like about it. There's definitely nothing wrong with that. Yeah, so I'm well pleased with that. That's that's turned out a treat. So I think we'll uh, take the burner out and slow it and and, and, uh, and see how it runs without the burner in. Ooh, well, let's put this back in. Here. There we go. Yeah, I'm well pleased with that. What a lovely little engine. Okay, I think that'll about wrap it up for this uh, little tiny scratch built steam engine, which I really like. Just such an unusual design. I hope you enjoyed this little video on this engine. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.